guys, Janine here with another review for you. And today I am talking about Do Revenge, uh, the Netflix original streaming film uh, directed by Jennifer Caton Robinson, starring Camilla uh, Mendez and Maya Hawke. Uh, such a fun movie definitely playing into all of the teen movies of my generation even before you're getting kind of Heather's vibes and Mean Girls and Jawbreaker um, happening in this movie so basically it's female led uh, kind of teen psychopaths with a bubblegum pop flair happening so really loving the vibe of this movie the music the music are just all of the great songs from these movies like Cruel Intentions and and um, things like that so definitely playing into the millennial teen vibe 100% so great soundtrack of songs that feel familiar that you would know right off the bat from a lot of these movies clueless things like that um and even kind of moments and outfits I mean you see in the background Horowitz Hall a nod to share there's a whole makeover scene so a lot of things that just play into you know nods to the craft all kinds of just great great kind of nostalgia beats hit in this movie but in a very cool fun way and not a beat you over the head kind of a way um Camila Mendez is great in this I think you know most people probably know her as Veronica on Riverdale so seeing her in this film I think this was a great role for her um and she's not a hundred percent likable but you still she plays it in a way where you still kind of understand her and you still kind of are following her and a little bit on her side. Maya Hawk, of course, is very easy to love. Um, you know, we've seen her in Stranger Things and she's amazing. So to see her in this movie is great. Their chemistry together is really good. Basically, it's kind of a strangers on a train type plot. Both of them have been scorned, so they decide to team up and each one takes out the other's uh, scorner, <laughs> if that's even a word. Um, and, and they kind of bond as they're kind of hatching their plan to get back at the people who have burned them. Um, but they're going to take care of each other's person to kind of um, minimize the, the blow on them um, when things come out. Yeah, with Camila Mendez, her character suffers a big scandal at the beginning of the movie. She's ostracized as she wants to get revenge on her ex-boyfriend who was the one who scorned her. Maya Hawk comes into town as a new girl um, and she uh, has been scorned. She was at camp and a girl um, accused her of, um, of abusing her. So she wants to get revenge of this girl who, who put this predatory rumor on her. So they decide to team up and take out the people who, who hurt them. And just kind of the, the, them hatching the plans and building their bond together is really great to see. Um, very fun kind of uh, Gen Z humor happening here. Um, but still with the flair of the millennial energy. So I like the combination of the two, uh, the two generations uh, really kind of playing off each other. Uh, the fashion is really great as well. Uh, we get some well-crafted romance happening. Um, just overall so much fun. Such a really great way to tell a revenge story. Uh, and a teen story uh, while really kind of marrying different generations, uh, playing on nostalgia, but not in an annoying way that, that's so obvious. It's very kind of, uh, very clean the way they kind of just pepper in these scenes. Like you'll immediately recognize what they're from, what they're taking inspiration from, but it doesn't kind of draw your attention away of what's happening in the story. Um, Camila Mendez, she's really likable, but also just kind of like ugh, uh, frustrating. Um, she's really funny. She plays the comedic moments really well. Maya Hawk is great in this as well. Um, just some really interesting twists and turns. It doesn't go the way I was expecting it to, which was a nice surprise. Like, you know, teen movies are also very predictable as well. If you've seen Not Another Teen Movie, it basically really kind of makes fun of the predictability of teen films of that era, uh, of that kind of millennial era. Um, so to have this film really do something that I wasn't expecting 
um, and, and to see how it was gonna kind of get back on track with kind of the character relationships, um, they really, I think, played it out pretty smart. There are some things that, you know, I wish were handled a little bit better um, without getting into spoilers, uh, but overall, just really fun. I think Austin Abrams plays the boyfriend. Um, he's great in this. I like how they kind of played him, how, you know, he's definitely giving off a uh, kind of uh, Harry Styles type energy. The fact that like your popular guy isn't the jock anymore. Your popular guy is the guy who wears nail polish and acts like he's all about women's rights and women's support and he wears earrings and he's super rich and you know he has you know he's not afraid to wear pink and his style is very kind of gender neutral and gender fluid um, and that's your popular guy. Um, and uh, he plays it really well because you, you might know him best um, on uh, Euphoria where he is kind of this nice guy, um, but here he's like a total ass. Uh, so he definitely plays that really well and is really um, kind of switching the tone of kind of how we've seen him. Uh, so he's really great in this as well. The supporting cast is great. There's a really kind of funny uh, appearance from Sophie Turner in this movie. Um, and yeah, this movie is just having so much fun, playing a little bit campy, um, and, and just as a millennial who loves every movie from that generation, every teen movie from that generation, I love that it pays so many homages to my generation, um, but still kind of playing on today's Gen Z humor and today's Gen Z kind of attitude and and, and style and uh, but still, you know, tiptoeing into the past. Uh, so so really love the respect on my Gen while also kind of uh, telling it through the eyes of the newer Gen. So do revenge is a lot of fun. Uh, the performances are great. It's really funny. Um, great nostalgia while also kind of seeing a, taking a look into uh, present day uh, and just so much fun. I had a blast watching this movie. So please check out Do Revenge on Netflix streaming right now. What did you guys think of Do Revenge? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Do all of the things. We really appreciate it here at It's a Wonderful Podcast. And I will see you guys in the next one.